What's up preppers? This is my simple solution Faraday cage. Now I've looked at tests online and between chicken wire and tin foil or aluminum foil, depending on where you're watching from, the tin foil is the best solution for a very simple cheap Faraday cage and it offers more protection when surrounded than chicken wire. So this is how we're going to do it. We'll remove our lid, first of all, and then we're going to wrap as carefully and as neatly as possible. So we've got a fully wrapped box. Now if you want to stick these down just to seal it, that's fine. But as long as you've got a nice two layers like this, that should be enough protection. Okay, just ensure the lid will still go on there. And then we'll do a thin layer on the lid. The lid, because it's wrapped four sides, has two layers. And I'm sure we can still fit that down. So my advice, with any electronics you can put in here that you're not going to be needing, if you're going to be taking out all the time, you might not want to do that. But any electronics you're not going to be using until after an EMP, then simply individually wrap them and you can write on what they are in marker, pop them in. Batteries, if they're in a sealed container, then they can go straight in there as long as you can't touch any of the elements where these are open. So what I'd recommend is any open batteries, put them in a plastic sealed container to store them inside. If the box is prepared and you don't need to access it until after the fact, then once you've sealed your lid, it's worth putting an extra coating over the top of it. That's your simple cost-effective EMP box. Thanks for watching the video guys. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.